substrate The substrate is a physical medium which protects and supports the plant for root development in vegetables and flowers, allowing the nutrient solution to be available for its development. It must be sterile, that is, it must not contain any bacteria or microorganisms whatsoever that could eventually spread or damage the plant. Likewise, it should not contain any element that could alter the nutrient solution. And this is the main reason why soil is not used in hydroponic growing. There are three groups of substrate. The organic, inorganic and synthetic. Since the beginning of hydroponics, substrates were considered as materials of great importance, since they must have a mixture of favorable qualities for growing. Next, we will mention the general properties that a good substrate must have. The first one is moisture retention. It determines the possibility that the plant has nutrients available so that they can carry out these metabolic processes. For this moisture retention to be available, it will depend a lot on its granulometry and porosity. The higher the water retention capacity of the substrate, the less frequent the irrigations will be. The second is capillarity. This property consists in the fact that the substrate has the capacity to absorb and distribute the nutrient solution in all directions through the micropores. When the substrate has a good capillarity, the water is absorbed in all directions, making the roots of the plants find a homogeneous humidity throughout the container. The third point is aeration. The optimal level of aeration capacity varies between 20 and 30%. This is defined as the proportion of the volume of oxygen that is available in the substrate after it has become saturated with water and has finished draining. Throughout this process, the root of our plant must have adequate respiration and therefore, it is important to choose a substrate with a stable structure, very porous, and complementary aeration of the solution. 4. The physical stability. The compactation and decomposition of the substrate can cause a reduction in the pore space and in the aeration capacity throughout the crop. That is why stability is one of the physical properties of vital importance in long-term crops. The most unsuitable substrates are those that crumble easily with the action of water. Five, lightness. The weight of the substrate determines the strength of the hydroponic setup. It is recommended that it should be light in order to have easily handling. 6. Good drainage. Any type of container and substrate that is being used must allow good drainage. When a hydroponic plant requires a greater amount of nutrient solution or water, we must apply a greater amount of irrigation but we must never flood the substrate, since this goes against the availability of oxygen. 7. Availability. This is a logical condition, but sometimes it is not taken into account when selecting the substrate. We must ensure that it is readily available and inexpensive. Generally, this factor determines, even before other conditions, the substrate to be used. That is why it is advisable to make a budget without sacrificing the quality of the product.